you know I haven't ridden this bike in a while so I wanted to take it out for a quick spin and when it's humid by the way this looks like a crazy thunderstorm coming up just when I want to ride this bike a big thunderstorm happens I think what I appreciate about this bike is that it's slow and I need a slow bike you know I got my Ninja 250 after I got in trouble with the law reckless speeding tickets and such I was like okay I need like something that will slow me down but it's yet fun and the Ninja 250 I love those but they're carbureted this thing is fuel injected it's an upright adventure bike it's got a lot of good things for it but one of the things I don't like about this is the you know you can't really take this on the highway for a very long time and I kind of feel that I'm wasting the bike just by commuting on it even though it's a perfectly good commuter it's got a lot of good things going for it one of the crazy good things is that it's incredibly fuel efficient for the gas apocalypse the road presence is not here on this thing when you get on a Yamaha Super Tenray for example the road presence is a lot more you feel powerful and actually people treat you as a powerful person which is psycho it's like more psychology than anything on the Honda Silverwing I ride at the same pace and people tend to push you around and I think it's because it's a scooter people take advantage of weaker people we learned that from history right so when you have something powerful like the Super Tenray, a GS, Goldwing, something large, people do not take advantage of you as much. What is this on the road? This car really went slow for that. So people really take advantage of smaller vehicles because they equate that with weakness. Look at this. This is a little, you know, speed bump you barely feel anything on that that's incredible you feel the speed bumps a whole lot more on the super 10 right the suspension on this is pretty darn good as well it's um upside down forks which i appreciate i don't think it's needed but but i kind of feel that a supermoto with 17 inch wheels would be much better for a commuter it's kind of dark you know, I just don't ride this thing enough, unfortunately. I kind of feel like I'm just wasting it. Because a lot of my riding involves the highway. And even if I do back road rides, you know, I, I go like two hours out from Washington just to get to the back roads. And the problem is, it's just all highway and Usually the highways around here are Mark 55, but you would be in danger if you did 55. This guy, I want to look at him. I want to see what kind of human this is. It's this Mercedes right here. On the wrong side. You're on the wrong side, dummy. This is the cheapest gas station around here. Let's see. I see a lot of fours. Hey, mid is four night. Whoa, gas went down. Gas went down, guys. Look at this. 489. Holy smokes. I think one of the really big benefits of having the Super Tenray as opposed to this is that I can comfortably ride to California and then explore California. This, I don't think I can do that. I don't think I'll be as comfortable. Hey, Macarena. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, buddy, go ahead, go ahead. See how I'm such a nice guy? That guy looks like he goes into the female marchers. Man, there's been like a lot of crazy stuff happening there. That's kind of like an attractive lady there. flip-flops I hate those flip-flops it's like they uh, they hurt my toes it's like I can't and I hate the idea of like 
using flip-flops. I just hate the image, you know, I just don't trust those things. What if you have to run? It's so crazy. Have you ever seen a person with flip-flops run? It's so ridiculous. It's like, you, you have to realize that sometimes you have to run from wolves. And if you have flip-flops, you're going to be dead. You're going to be an appetizer for a wolf. I don't know why I would need to run from a wolf, but, you know, sometimes. I don't know. Everybody's got their own hang-ups, right? You know, this bike is slow, but yet, the amazing thing is that it feels fast. It's the same thing as an inch 250. This guy's from New Jersey. I heard there are real assholes up there. It's not... Oh, go, 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 go. Okay, I don't like to do that, but... Even the car behind me did that. And the car behind him did that. I told you this guy was a douchebag. Look at this. New Jersey plate make busting a U-turn in the middle of the road. I've always... Like, that is so douchey. What a douchebag. New Jersey plate. I told you. I really wish that restaurants just put the tips included in the price of the food. You know, I, okay, you want to bring me food? Fine. That's a... I just hate that idea. It's just, to me, it just seems like slavery. Why bring me food? I can get food myself. But, if you want to bring me food, make it so the tip is included. You should get paid well by the restaurant owner. It's, it's, oh, small mom and pop shops are going to go out of business. Well, okay, maybe you can do something else. Just include the tip in the bill. It's like I have to... And then they, uh, they're making it that you have to give 20% now in this area. It's like, oh, we suggest 20%. Are you out of your mind? 20%? I'm stuck here. The cops won't bother me.